Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And today I'm going to be t doing a quick tutorial on how to set up Reshade for your game. What Reshade is, it is completely safe to use on Star Stable, but it's basically an overlay program that changes the look of the game and you can add settings, add textures, anything you want. It makes really good edits, really good like Star Stable look if you want to change up the look a little bit. Besties, this is the tutorial for you. So it is just going to be a pretty simple simple and quick tutorial and I'm also going to add how to make your game look like winter. Now this is a preset made by SSO updates that you can put into the reshade filter thing itself. The reshade program you just put that preset in the program and then it should work fine. I will link it down in the description down below so you guys can go download that and check it out for yourselves as well. My besties and uh so yeah let's just get right into the video. If you don't know what reshade is it is just like an overlay program again for your game to make it look a bit different, changes, gives it a filter, makes it look beautiful. In case you guys want a little spice to your life, it is completely safe to use as a bunch of the community has said that it is safe on the game and also that Star Stable said that it won't get you banned or anything like that. So yeah, let's just get right into the tutorial then. Pretty exciting. I actually just learned about Reshade a few days ago and I just want to say that there are definitely a ton of tutorials online as well in case you guys want to check that out. But this is a very simplistic down to earth tutorial so let's get into it besties. So first things first we want to download Reshade. Now how you download Reshade is I'm just going to go to a browser tool, Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, anything like that. I use Google Chrome and type Reshade and go ahead and download it. Reshade and here it is. It should be Reshade and the site looks something like this in case you are wondering it looks something like this and then at the bottom here you can either press this download button or I'm just going to the bottom and then I'm going to download for reshade 4.91 so in case you're wondering it is a dot ini file and released January 9th 2021 this version of reshade but then you just want to click this and then it should start downloading to your browser to your computer not your browser once it has finished downloading you can go ahead and open it on your computer like this and it looks something like this. So we can set this up, not me in the background. Anyways, busties, don't mind that. So this is what the setup looks like. I'm just moving it around for you guys to see. I'm gonna put it right here. And then it can says, click here to select a game and manage its reshade installation. So you are going to install reshade into the game, the specific game that you want. This should work with many, many games. As you see, I don't have star stable as an option and say that's the game I want to download it on. So I'm going to go ahead and click browse. And of course your star stable may be under a lot of things, but for me it is under OSC, Program Files X86, Star Stable Online. So I'm going to show you how to get there in case, because I think it is the same spot for most people. So I just go to OS, Program Files X86, here it is, and I scroll down. I think these are all your games or everything that you've installed. I find Star Stable Online, double click that, and then I click Star Stable Online. Don't click SSO Client or uninstall Star Stable Online. You wanna be sure that you're clicking this middle one, Star Stable Online, or it should just say Star Stable Online. And then once you have located it, besties, you can go ahead and open up your Star Stable Online game. So it should look something like this when you first click it, make sure to change this to open GL. And then you can go ahead and since I have already installed reshade here, you can go ahead and press update, but you can press whatever button is there. It will be the same. All you want to do is uncheck all, check all, so you have all of these options checked. This just makes it easier and gives you a lot more options to play with in the game. Then you can go ahead and click OK and it will start to download. As for me, I have already downloaded most of this, so it will take a lot less time, but it is just um, downloading these color effects and overlays to your game. So here it is downloading, downloading, downloading song, downloading song downloading song, downloading song, and it's downloading everything that you can play with in the actual game itself, which is pretty fun. And once it is down, done downloading, I will be back and tell you besties what to do for the next step of your reshade 
journey. It may take a while since there is quite a lot to download to the game, so just wait a bit and it will finish up. Okay, so once it finishes installing into Star Stable or whatever game you want it installed on, it should say reshade setup was successful. Now you want to X this out, make sure you weren't logged into Star Stable for this, and uh, open up Star Stable now. Okay, so I'm just going to log back into Star Stable real quick and we should be good to go. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. It takes me a while to log into Star Stable anyways. Don't worry, besties. So here we are. It should be uploaded. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Oops, a bit too far into the tutorial. Okay, <laughs> so once you are logged into the actual game, logging in. Okay, it's good. Also, if you are downloading it for the first time, you should see a little reshade thing up here in the top left. Totally normal. Do not worry about that, besties. All you have to do is, on your computer, click the key home. Now, it shouldn't be anything under, like, F1 or anything like that. On my computer keyboard, it's actually, like, you know those little, like, place on the right with those extra numbers? It's a little bit to the left of that, but once you press home on your keyboard, it should bring up the reshade kind of, um, say this, the reshade window to your game. If you want to get rid of this, all you have to do is press home again and home to open it. So it's really easy and normal like that. If you do open the reshade command filter thing, uh, it won't let you move around or do anything in star stable, just so you know. So you might want to press that out and then go back in star stable so you can move around once more. I'm just gonna go out of the way real quick. So. Okay, so once you have this open, again, I just click home to open it and home to close it. You want to go to this little edit gl global processor definitions and make sure that they are all the same as mine. You might have a one here or a one somewhere else, but it should be 100.0000. So I'm just going to enlarge this on the screen right now so you besties can see what I'm talking about. Yes, queens and kings and besties. Yes, besties, I'm here for you. And uh, yeah, you want to make sure it's good. And once you have finished filling it out like this, you want to press reload and it'll just take away the global processor. You can click it again to make sure that it's saved and then press reload again. And before we do anything with the settings, there is just one thing in Star Stable that might be a bit helpful to turn off is, I'm not sure if it's optional or not, but I think it will give you better quality and stuff for your gameplay. You want to go to the main menu and if you are using Reshade, simply click the graphics tab and go over to anti-aliasing and smooth the edges of objects, giving them a more smooth appearance. Simply turn that off and you should be good to use your reshade. So I'm just going to go through reshade a little bit and playing around with it to show you guys what I mean by reshade. And then I will go through how to get snow in Star State. Okay, so I press home. I say that a lot, but yes. And here you guys can see all of the given items. And there are a bunch of options on the left and you guys might be, what is this? It is all of the basic overlays to the game or anything that you can add. For example, if I click adaptive fog, it adds fog in Star Stable. Down here we have a little bit of options. Sorry, it's really small besties. I have to like go down to see it. But here we have the fog and you can adjust how much fog you want in the game by playing with the scrollers. For example, this is 100% fog curve and this is lower fog curve and there are just a bunch of different options that you guys can play with in case you want to get the perfect photo in star stable or the perfect tiktok and this is how it basically looks of course you can always reload it to kind of reset it and then you can uncheck them in case you are done or you don't want them in the game anymore and here we can do another one to show you guys real quick for example, ambient light, it'll change the lighting in Star Stable, and you can go ahead and change that. It kind of works like a filter over your game, and I don't know, besties, look how cool this looks. So ambient light does that, and you can even get some vanite, vanginet, I never know how to say it. But basically, all of these Star Stable options that you want. We again have sunset filter, which makes it look like a sunset, but these are all basic filters for your game, and for you to play with in case you you guys want that of course so say i want to get rid of something so for example here wait where is it 
I have my fog, right? And then I press home, it will not get rid of the fog. Wherever you go in Star Stable, the overlay will have been added to the entire game, or at least your radius, so it will all appear like this in case you want to film your TikToks or whatever, or whatever you want to use it for, even for just training or something extra to spice it up. Say I do want to get rid of the fog, all I do is press home and uncheck it, or whatever I have checked, I can just go ahead, scroll through, and uncheck it, and it will just reset the game to its normal thing, its normal game behavior, and now I'm going to walk you through how to get snow or that snow preset in Star Stable. So first, thing, first things first, log out of Star Stable. Preset was actually made by a member of the Star Stable community, in case you guys are wondering how I got it. So it is by SSO Updates, and all you have to do is watch their video, but basically it tells you to go to their Dropbox link, and once you click that, you can go ahead and download the presets. Once you have downloaded the presets and they are in your game, I've downloaded the presets, it should look something like this in your downloads folder. All I do is control C to copy it, and then I go back to my area, your star stable game. So I go to C program files, and then I go over to star stable and copy it over here. So you can get the pre shade, the reshade presets over here and copy them and paste them into your game just like that. Once you have pasted the preset into your game, you can log out and log back into Star Stable. Press home to open the reshade little thing here. Little help bar window thing and then up here at the top it should say reshade preset you want to click this and it should bring a drop down arrow simply scroll around until you find the preset you want to use and this one is reshade winter click it and then select it into your game now you can press home and it will have brought winter into star stable for you so yeah this is really exciting and if you want to get rid of it all you have to do is either open home or open the window and all you have to do is simply change it back to reshade preset dot ini and select it and it'll change it back to your base game and again going back and forth is pretty easy you just click it and select it to change back and forth but again this is a community made preset it is not actually winter in the game but it is super cool because now you guys can choose if you want winter or not in star stable and if you want to make your own reshade presets or anything like that definitely let me know down in the comments if you thought this was a helpful tutorial and go check out sso.updates underscore to go check out their reshade preset resets package and also yeah i watched a bunch of tutorials on youtube but yeah i had to watch a bunch of tutorials on youtube just to learn this but i hope this helped you guys definitely let me know if you have any more questions on reshade down in the comments down below or what you think of this video and i hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah again just oh where am i going where am i running into that for please why am i running into that for let me go over here but just to recap press home on your keyboard and then you can change back and forth to winter or not to winter and this is what the game looks like just a quick tip if you are recording your screen or something make sure you are recording your actual screen and not the star stable game since reshade works as an overlay and um it won't quite show up it'll be very very glitchy and not work as well so just make sure that you are recording the actual screen or your monitor or the desktop and not actually the game itself because it will end up being glitchy and not the best to work so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little reshade tutorial and have fun playing around with them there are definitely a lot of things that you guys can pick from when you go to the reshade presets select it and look at all this that you guys can play with it's definitely fun to say the least and you guys can kind of explore and find out what does what if you find out a ton of things and what does what let me know in the comments what you think does what and what you want to try in the comments down below but of course you guys can play around with this as much as you want or as much as you prefer and take it away and put it back ambient light oh my gosh look at that besties look how cool this looks it is also really cool because you can put more than one for example like this i just put ambient light and fog and my game looks completely changed although the game itself is not changed it is an overlay and reshade is completely safe that way as it does not go into the actual game files and it is more of something on top of the game and deals with your monitor and not the game files so yeah this is really really fun and i hope you guys enjoy 
This might be able to spice up your training life or whatever you want to do on SSO. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, besties, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. And if you re-log into the game, you can always press home to access this. Reshade won't leave anytime soon unless you decide to uninstall it from your actual computer itself. So yeah, whenever you join Star Stable, you can just press home to bring that up. And if you want your game to stay the same, it'll just reset. So don't worry about that as well. And if it doesn't, it's super easy to change it. I haven't tried resetting it yet, but I bet it does. Thank you so, so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and have an awesome, awesome day. Doo-doo-doo!